So let's let's pretend that the uh, that the project is pretty complete. Uh, we've uh, style we've talked about styling and the programming of it is very 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 close to what we need. Let's uh, shift gears a little bit to to look at uh, thinking about uh, releasing. Uh, our, our app to the public. I know that sounds like a scary thing about like, well, it's not finished yet. I still have to finish this and that. Yes, but uh, we're going to cover it in various ways about actually publishing. So here's our first look into that. Go ahead and go to your web browser. Uh, and then let's go to uh, developer.android.com. So developer.android.com is the official portal where you uh, learn all about doing Android development, but also publishing your app for Android devices. OK, there's also developer.apple.com, where we would learn all about developing our app in the language that they want, and then publishing to the uh, to the iTunes App Store, whatever they, they call it. And then, of course, there's also developer.windows.com. And this tells you all about uh, best practices for making Windows apps and then publishing to the Microsoft Store. So three different app stores for publishing our apps. Now, all of these three app stores that I'm mentioning here, they all have a barrier to entry. Uh, you have to uh, go through the process at Android. You have to uh, go into uh, Google Play up here and create an account, and register as a developer uh, to publish the apps. And that costs, I believe, $28, around there, $25, $28. One-time cost. Let's just round it up, $30. $30, one-time cost, to become an official Android developer. So that's not too expensive. That's like a really good pizza, right? Now, Apple and Windows also have a price. Uh, I don't remember what it is exactly for Windows. I believe it's somewhere around there as well. $25, $28, $30, $1 time fee to publish your apps to the Windows ecosystem. Apple, last I checked, is $99 per year. So one time cost for these other ones, yearly cost for this one. Now, um, the... Um, there's an alternative, which is what we're going to use in class, which is the, um, the one that's completely free, which is over at developer.amazon.com. You can publish apps here as well. And Amazon, at the moment, has it free to publish Android apps. Um, Google Play is the you know the default app store for Android devices, and iTunes is the default app store for iOS, and the uh, Windows Marketplace or, or store or whatever their current name is is the official place for on Windows. Amazon is a third-party one, is an alternative. They have their own app store because they have their own ecosystem of devices. Kindle, right? The Amazon Kindle devices and such. And if you, didn't, if, you, if you don't keep up with tech, did you know that Amazon a few years ago had their own cell phone? The Amazon Fire phone. Well, that crashed and burned, and it's not quite around. But it was also based on Android. So Android, this open source operating system, uh, can be taken and modified and such, and Amazon has done it twice. One was a success, one was not. The Kindle was a success. There's millions and millions of Kindles. People love them. They read books. They download apps. They browse the web. It's all based on Android. It's Amazon's version of Android. And they tried it with the Fire phone, and that didn't work. But anyway, uh, Amazon has their own app store. And because they, um, the, the Android app store is built into every Android device but not the Amazon one. You have to uh, download it, uh, as we'll see how. So they, they've made their barrier to entry zero. 
you can create an app uh, developer account here and publish your apps for Android completely for free. Um, even if you wanted to give away your apps on iTunes or Google, you still have to pay the developer's cost. So uh, for this class, you will not be required to create your Google or Windows or Apple accounts. You'll be required to create an Amazon account. And what I'm going to do, actually, this is going to be homework over the weekend. Uh, over the weekend, you need to create an account. Uh, you might think about starting it right now in the, in the lab. You, you don't have to. But over, by the time we come back next time, you need to uh, create an account. And what I will say about that is you could use your existing Amazon account if you've got one. I don't recommend it, however your existing Amazon Prime account and all of that, where you download your movies and all of that, I don't recommend you tie up your personal account with your business development account. You can go off and create a brand new free Gmail account or Hotmail account or Yahoo account or whatever. Create a brand new email account just for you as a developer and then use that to create an Amazon account. That's what I would recommend. So you decide over the weekend if you want to use your existing Amazon account or create a new one. I recommend create a new one. I also recommend think about it like this. This is still a student project. This is you know proof of concept that you can do this. Uh, you don't have to set this up for real. You don't have to put your real name and it's going to ask you for an address and all of this because you're going to be, in theory, you're going to be a developer. You're going to get paid for your apps. It's going to want to pay you in your bank account and all of that. Uh, so over the weekend, try to set it up. You, have, you can make it all up completely fake. There's going to be a part that says put in your bank account, yes or no. Just say no. You don't have to put a bank account at the beginning. But it's going to ask you your name, what's the name of your company, make it all up. Put an address, a phone number, make it all up if you want just for learning this. Eventually then when you want to publish this for real, you will have the skills to do it for real. But for this class, you can make it all up completely fake. So over the weekend, create the account. If you have any trouble, you know, email me or wait to come back on Tuesday. And then when we come back on Tuesday, we will log in and I'll show you. I'll show you what's in the account and how to actually use it. It's not that complex. So over the weekend, uh, set it up. We'll end the lecture at this point. And then uh, when we come back on Tuesday, we will get to the next point about getting closer to become a, an app publisher. Any general questions? All right, so I'll put my code in the folder. We'll do some lab time until 9.30, and then we'll continue next week.